What's going on everybody? Alright, so today I'm going to be bringing a brand new tutorial. This is going to be going over Virtual Speditor a little bit. How to install it from scratch for anybody. If you want it for ATS or ETS2 1.39. This should work for future versions if you follow the tutorial but use updated versions. Unless the software is just no longer needed. We all know that SCS has their own version of multiplayer coming out. So who knows, maybe Speditor just won't be needed anymore. I guess I guess we'll see what happens. Either way, I'm going to be going over Virtual Speditor and how to configure it first time for the default average show that just wants to create a create a a run with their their buddies or whatever. I mean, you you can use this on multiplayer, single player, ATS, ETS2, like I mentioned before, it, it's it, it's a great, great program. I mean, it's got a lot of functionality. So, alright, we're just going to go ahead and jump right on into it. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and start your American Truck Simulator from scratch, just fresh off the bat, into your menu, and we will meet you there. From the menu you're going to want to head over to your if you are already selected on your default profile you're going to want to head to edit profile and you're going to want to uncheck use steam cloud once that's unchecked click apply and go to your options go to keys and buttons all the way down to the bottom here you will have your quick save and quick load. Go ahead and set your quick save secondary and your quick load primary to either whatever you want or page up and page down aren't used or left and right bracket aren't used. Once you have those set to whatever you want, make sure you remember them. You'll be using them quite frequently in the future. Go ahead and save that and go to continue game. Once you're at this point, go ahead and go drive around. Once you're out in the world to drive around, go ahead and press your quick save button. Now, go ahead and completely close your game out Alright, so you've just set your quick save and quick load button, and you've also disabled your Steam Cloud Sync on your profile, and made your initial quick save. Now, once you're done with that, go ahead and navigate to the link in the description for Virtual Speditor. You'll be brought to this exact web page. Scroll down a little bit to find version 2.14 for ETS slash ATS 1.39 and click it. It'll open this and automatically download. You will also need 7-zip or WinRAR to extract this. Now on your desktop, you can just right click, create new folder. Okay. I'm going to open my desktop and show this here. Create new, Speditor. Okay. Go ahead and take the virtual speditor and just drop it into there. And then go in the file. You should have what looks something like this a virtual speditor 2 underscore 14. Right click it. And if you have the option from WinRAR to just extract here, do that. Or if you're using 7zip, go extract here. Yeah, you'll be you'll be uh, greeted with a lot of different stuff in here. Go ahead and delete the original zipped file as it's no longer needed, <clears throat> and open up virtualspeditor.exe. Now, once virtualspeditor is open, 
you'll be greeted with this box here. Go ahead and click the three little dots. Navigate to this PC. Documents. American Truck Sim. Profiles. If you have more than one profile here, you might have to open up your files. Go to your Documents, American Truck Sim, Profile, and figure out which one is your most recent one by going into it and finding out if your quick save date matches appropriately. If you have the quick save, that's probably it. But if you only have the one profile, go into it, click save, scroll all the way down and click quick save and click OK. And then click load. Preparing data. Now it's all loaded. Now that you have that set, you no longer have to do that. That is permanently set. Anytime that you quick quick save in game, it will save over what is already here in that directory. So anytime that you want to create a new load with Virtual Speditor, all you have to do is load it up and click the load button. It will automatically pull your latest quick save. Now you're going to want to select Map Selector ATS-139 or ETS-139 if that's what you're playing. Exclude Companies and Suggest Random Company. Get rid of the Suggest Random Company. Now you're going to want to do this in order as if you don't, sometimes if you select one thing here, select another thing over here, and then come back, say, over here, it'll get messed up. It'll change stuff on its own. So I recommend doing this in order. Start with source, which is the destiny, or sorry, the pickup location of whatever you're trying to deliver. And then choose the company for the source. Then choose your destination location. And then choose your company for the destination, for the drop-off. Choose what cargo you want to take. If you want high value, dynamite is really good, and it's not extremely heavy. If you want even more value, set your urgency to number two, because that will give you the most amount of value for your delivery, although it will also decrease the amount of time you have to do the delivery. After that, you can choose a different trailer if you absolutely want to. <clears throat> Just keep in mind that it might change your source or destination or some other stuff, and you might have to go back through and redo that. After that, click Add Cargo. Click the Save button. I didn't choose everything, so of course it's going to tell me Fill All Fields. But if you did Source, Company, Destination, Company, Cargo, Urgency, add cargo and save in that order it should work no problem if you want to use your own trailer it does not work with canada the whole freight market system works with promods canada now after you've saved it go ahead and minimize it and open your game back up now if you open your game up and you go to drive around and you're still on the same profile press your quick load button once you've pressed your quick load button you should only have the one quick save double click it and load it it will load and you will you should still be at the same location that you were as you haven't moved now check your freight market and click the city that you set the source for and you should see your custom load and you're good to go. Select it and play it like a normal freight delivery. It's that simple. You're now using Speditor. Anytime that you want to create a new load you need to create a new quick save. So you finish that delivery Press the quick save button, alt tab, you do not have to close your game. Now that everything is installed, 
You do not have to close Speditor. You do not have to close your game. You can simply alt tab between the two. All right, so just to go over what we went through, we disabled Steam Sync for your profile. We uh, set up the quick save and quick load hotkey. Um, and then we set your initial quick save. Installed Speditor, configured the save directory, and set up your first route. Um, now, real quick, just to go over a couple of things that I may or may not have already mentioned. <clears throat> when you finish a load, or whenever you restart your game or you want to use Speditor again, make sure you press that quick save button. Set yourself up another quick save. It's, it's that simple. All you have to do is press the button. Alt tab over to Speditor and then press the load button. You don't have to set the directory again. It's just that anytime that you finish a load, you need to press your quick save button. It has to have a fresh save to work off of. <clears throat> um, other than that, I don't use my own trailers. I'm sure that there might be some other people in the community that do. Be sure to drop some comments below if you figure some things out or check the Speditor tutorial that is written on the link in the description, which is also from the original download location. Um, be sure to drop a follow or subscribe to see more and future updates and content. Thanks, much appreciated.